Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm, today I'm going to show you how to power your Alexa devices on 12 volts or off-grid for all you RVers and um, off-grid people. You want to use the Alexa devices, uh, here's how you do it. First thing you want to do is purchase a step-up converter. They're about uh, 10 bucks, 12 bucks on Amazon. They look like this. And uh, first thing you want to do is, however you're going to input your power, if it's a cigarette lighter or hardwired, you just have to have your length of wire and that's on your input side. On the board it's marked in. So you just uh, put positive negative on the input side. Then what you want to do is you want to take the the power brick that comes with the Alexa device and cut off the cord right here so you know it's the correct cord for that device. Uh, I always leave a little length of wire so in case you want to uh, put um, another plug in between here so you can use it between 120 volts and uh, 12 volts. Uh, so what we got to do here is this is your shield the one that surrounds the inner the inner wire so you want, that's your ground and then the center wire is your positive so what you want to do is strip both of those back like like this and then just get them nice and tight twist them up tight so they don't fray out on you and then open up this side of the output right here like that now the reason why I know what voltage this runs on is because if you look on these power packs they tell you what voltage it is it's really hard to read on this one so I'm old so I use a uh, magnifying glass this one says 18 volts 1. 6, 7 amps and the center of it is telling me that it's positive and the outer they're saying the centers positive and the outer is negative so that's the way we wire it to our converter so all we do is there's our positive the middle the center one here is our positive this outer terminal here is our positive so we match those two up and the inside is our negative so, shove those in there. Then, tighten these retaining clips down here. Like this. That's not all there is to it. So, follow the entire process here or you will burn up your Alexa. Then, you want, what you want to do is strip these wires back here. These are going to be connected to a 12 volt source in the beginning just for uh, testing purposes and adjusting the voltage. So now what I'm going to do, you need to get yourself a multimeter. And let me set the voltage output here on my power supply down to, I know my trailer is usually about 13 volts. So I'm going to adjust it at 13 volts just in case the voltage increases you know uh, during a charge state or something and then this for some reason increases I, I always like to do it at a higher voltage just so I know that I'm safe and I'm not going to burn up my any of my devices so negative is black positive is red Oop, yep yeah, that's a good sign that means it's on there we go and even on right now Obviously, nothing's being powered, but I'm drawing a tenth of an amp, so that's good. If it's drawing a whole bunch of ampers and you have a short somewhere, and or the or the the regulating unit's bad, so get yourself a multimeter. Oh, let me find this one. Hold on. Pull this one out here. So here's our multimeter. I'm set on volts DC. Hold on. Let me turn this on. Volts DC. And 
set to auto, so it'll automatically switch voltage. And I, I just want to go in here, have these little probes, positive, negative. Probe that positive side and the negative side of the output, my output, to that's going out to my device. See how it's at 24 volts right there? There's a spot on this board. Here, I'll show you. Let me get that hooked back up. This little tuning pot right here will adjust the voltage. So if I do this, that's up, that's down. I want to take that down to 18 volts. So let's go all the way down. Just keep turning it. There's 19. This will also work on laptops too. So if you got a laptop and you want to power it off at 12 volts, this is what you need to do. You need to get one of these converters and wire it up the same way. Okay, we're almost down to 18 volt. There we go. We'll fine tuning there. There we go. At 0.06, that's not even another volt, so we're good. About 18, not even half a volt. So that should be good enough. <clears throat> Let me just double check, make sure it wasn't 18 and a half volts. Yeah, it's 18 volts. So now that I have that hooked up that way and it's running, it's powered. Now when I plug this in, the Alexa should fire up and uh, be working normally. Hopefully don't let the smoke out. Here we go. Let's see if she works. Let's turn her on. Oh, there we go. Powered up and just wait for her to boot up. We're still not even pulling an amp, not even one amp from uh, from this device. So it's very efficient. It's not going to drain your battery very quickly. Yeah, we're not even a half an amp right now. If, uh, let me show you here while she's booting up. I don't think you can see that on the camera. See here, and see this little number here? Let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. There we go. See, that's not even a half an amp. This is amps, this is milliamps. So we're at 200 milliamps right now. And She's still booting up right now. I think she's on. No, maybe not. There we go. Oh, yep, she's on. Let's uh, let's test her out a little bit just to make sure that everything's good. I hope the other one doesn't start. I have another one right above me here. Uh, she might start trying to take commands. Let me mute her. There we go. All right, let's see. Alexa, play. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to play any music because I'll get monetized. <laughs> um, play Royal. Alexa, play royalty free music. Okay. I think it's just because it's not on the right Wi-Fi. Or it's updating or something. Let's see. Pause. Let's try techno music then. She hasn't been updated in a while. I've, I've had this one on the shelf. I just wanted to make a quick video with it. So it could just be updating or something, but... Let me see if she's on the Wi-Fi. Uh, settings. Bluetooth network. Yeah, she's on the Wi-Fi. She's probably updating then. Oh, darn it. Uh, 
royalty free music. Oh, she's playing on the speaker somewhere. That's what it is. All right. Alexa, home. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 1.24 a.m. Alexa, how much could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck about 700 pounds of wood on a good day with the wind at his back. <laughs> Alright, so you get the idea. It works. She doesn't pull a whole lot of uh, amperage there. This only works on the shows, the echo shows, and stuff that requires 18 volts. These other little uh, echo devices, like the, um, uh, what's the other one? The Echo and the uh, Echo Dots, they, they actually require 12 volts, so you don't even need to do this to those. These ones, those ones you just plug directly into, you can just make a plug and plug it directly into your, uh, your cigarette lighter or 12 volt source. Make sure you fuse it first, like this is going to be fused, I haven't fused it, it's fused through my power supply, so I got, I'm going to add a fuse right at the source. And that way, if something shorts out here internally or something happens that it draws too many amps, um, uh, this will, the fuse uh, further down the line will actually pop and then um, stop supplying power. So that's, you always want to fuse anything you put in line of 12 volts uh, or 24 volts, whatever you do it. Uh, but and I guess uh, that's it for this video. I just wanted to help anybody out that's um, looking to run one of these devices or a laptop or um, anything that uh, need, requires more than 12 volts and less than 24 this is your this is what you need right here this will actually su supply 24 volts too if you need 12 to 24 so um, yeah this is what you want to get right here and very easy, very simple. You might want to get a little box to put this in or just don't wrap it in tape or something because these little fins are heat sinks um, and that helps dissipate the heat from these two uh, voltage regulators in here and the capacitor and all that stuff. So um, other than that, um, just they make a little, uh, what they call those, uh, hobby boxes. Just get a hobby box and pop this in a little hobby box. Or if you can mount it somewhere on, see how it has a mounting screws, PCB mounting screws. If you have a cabinet, you can mount this into the back of the cabinet. Um, <clears throat> you could do that as well. Apologize for the, the noise there. It's my door chime. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. Just pop that in there and you're good to go. You got a working, working, Alexa or laptop device. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free, to, feel free to ask. Showing results for feel free to ask. Here is and, one uh, HP oh yeah, now she wants to talk. Portable laptop. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions, please ask. Uh, I'll be more than happy to walk you through it or help you out with any other questions you have. Have a great day. Like, subscribe, all that stuff that they say to do. Be great if you did it. If not, I hope I helped you out. Have a good day.